811 now. When Harvey Weinstein's accusers first stepped forward, the Me Too and Time's Up movements showed us sexual harassment wasn't just a Hollywood problem. Now companies are responding to calls for change to prevent sexual harassment and improve equal pay and increase diversity. Joining us this morning is the author of a new book called The Human Workplace, Andy Swan. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Lena. How are you doing? I am wonderful. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Excellent. So how are workplaces changing and what steps should companies take to improve their work environments? This is really a wide scope here that I just mentioned. It's, it's so relevant now, you know, you picked up on it at the start. We're hearing so much in the news about Me Too, Time's Up, we're hearing about discrimination, inequality, and so many people are probably driving to work in Raleigh now just thinking, do I really want to go here today? And then you have businesses saying, we really want to be our best and we want to be successful. And you know what? What the human workplace does, it goes into the biggest companies in the world, and not just startups, huge companies, and finds out that when they focus on their people and they provide a platform for their people to thrive, the people can do their best work and the company succeeds too. It's almost a no-brainer. How specifically does your book address sexual misconduct in the workplace? So sexual misconduct has come up in the news very recently. When I was writing the book, it wasn't an issue. We, cover, we covered the whole topic of discrimination, uh, inclusivity, um, all of these topics as, as a wide-ranging thing. Because actually, whoever you are, whatever your background, wh wherever you come from, whatever your interest, you should be able to go to work and do your best day's work and be given the opportunity to do that without any fear of bullying, harassment, discrimination, or any other negative impact. So it covers the gamut. And your book talks about how it's important to unleash employees so they can do their best work. What do you mean by that? So unleashing people to do their best work means giving people a platform, not controlling them, not dictating how they work, enabling them and giving them the freedom to do their best work. And we went into some of the biggest companies in the world. I have the opportunity to go into them. And it's not just cool startups with hoodies and garages doing these things. Some of the biggest companies are enabling people to be their absolute best. And the companies benefit as a result. And we know that when people feel safe and respected and valued, they can do their best work, right? Completely. You know, if somebody made you a cup of coffee at home this morning, you would say thank you. You'd recognize the effort they went to. And it's as simple as that in the workplace. You know, if somebody's going that extra mile, somebody's putting the effort in, say thank you, respect them, treat them as a human being, and enable them to, to be their best and actually appreciate them doing that. All right. Andy Swan, author of The Human Workplace, completely relevant right now. Great timing for writing this book. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lena. Great to talk to you. Okay.